when I found out I was pregnant, I was 15. Me and Patrice has been on and off for two years. They'll never be good for each other. You know, it's such a volatile relationship that they've got. It's not fair on Jacob. What do you mean, a so far? What, so you're just going to leave me? Huh? I think I deserve a lot better than him. He's just pathetic low life. Sixteen-year-old Amy lives in Plymouth with her mum and son Jacob, who's 11 months old. I was using contraception now and then, but the times that I didn't, I did take a morning after pill, but there was this one time that I didn't, and that's obviously when I got caught. Mum Andrea made Amy take a pregnancy test. And as soon as I found out what the results were, I smacked her over her head. And obviously called her every name under the sun. So I wasn't very happy. Amy's ex-boyfriend, Patrice, was 17 and didn't cope well with becoming a dad. I just didn't know what to do myself, to be honest. I just didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. I just didn't know who to speak to. I, did, I just felt like running away and I was just shocked that I just told Amy that. I just didn't know what to do. I wasn't ready for a kid. I thought you'd stay with me all the way through but you've sort of done a runner on me. <laughs> They're no longer a couple, but Patrice and Amy are trying to stay friends for Jacob's sake. My biggest fear is for Amy and Patrice is getting back together. She just does not get no help from him. He, he just is a waste of space. He really is. Patrice's Albanian Muslim family are also against the teens having contact. Uh, my dad and uh, my mum, they would have preferred me marrying a Muslim girl because obviously they want me to be in the same culture as my brothers and my dad. I don't know the rules of Muslim. I always went with the English rules, to be honest. You stay in England, you got English rules. And, um, and that's it, and my dad didn't like it, and I told him straight. It's all, like, hard now because, like, his family don't like me. My family don't like him. But Patrice is still determined to win Amy back. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to prove her wrong, that I will be there for her and I've been saying for Jacob. She don't know how bad she, that I want her back. Right, your mum is stopping us two from going out each other. You said to your mum yeah, this no, morning... No, it's not just my mum, was it? It's everybody. I just want to be there for Jacob. There's no point seeing each other if you're not going to get back with each other. Yeah, but then how would we get back together, yeah? The way your family is with you, without me. Uh, excuse me, does it really matter? Hey, look at your family with me. Why can't you just be with me? No, no one's got to no know about it. Yeah, but it's not you that get called names, Patrice. It's me. Every time I'm with you, I get called a name by my family. Is that a mug? I want to know, please, before it gets too late. Too late for what? For me and you. What, for you to move on? I don't want to move on. Don't you understand that? I love you. Yeah, but then if I get back with you, you'll just find you in bed with another girl. It'll obviously, that ain't gonna happen. So what would you rather do, yet? Yeah, rush into it, then start arguing again, like we always used to do. And that's not good for Jacob. In Plymouth, Amy's mum has banned Patreet from the house. I can't see Amy and Jacob. Every time I do see him, I just got to stay outside in the doorstep and just speak, speak to him and, like, hold Jacob for, like, five, ten minutes and that's it. But Patrice is not giving up on getting Amy back. I just want you to give me that last chance. Do you? Yes. Really? Pretty badly. How much? So much. Please. Right, so if I said to you, we get back together. Right. And then I'll give you, like, a week and a half. A week and a half of what? You can prove yourself to me, like, you turn up on time, you don't let me down once. Right. Don't cheat on me again. Just don't mess me about. I'll prove you wrong and all you found me wrong. You've said that so many times. Yes, I know I have. But I actually will do it. I've changed. 
Oh, no. Don't tell anybody, betray you. Bye. Love you. Yeah, I'm just chuffed to bits, and I'm back with her, and, and that's it. And I hope so. I'll, I'll just stick to it. If my mum found out I'd seen you betray again, I think hell would break loose. Let me see how far it goes, eh? And, um, fingers crossed. The relationship is back on, and Amy wants to live with Jacob and Patrice as a proper family unit. I want my own place because I'm fed up a man nagging. Yeah, but you give her reasons to nag. Yeah, but I want to be able to, like, do my own things, and I will want Patrice to be able to come in. Pa. Amy's 18 year old sister, Tia, is also a teen mum and rents her own flat nearby. I don't honestly think you'd cope or like living alone. I do think I'll cope. I think it'll be fun. But it's not fun. Yeah. I hate it. I thought I'd cope. And I felt more homesick the longer I've lived away from my mum and everybody. I could quite easily come back home. I don't think you're moving out for the right reasons because you think people are nagging at you and that's not good enough. Yeah, but I would. I'd rather move out than sit on a doorstep all the time with retreat or go out. It's not fair, T. Yeah, but he only bothers when he can be bothered to. I'm trying to explain to her how we struggle with money and how he got a budget. And she's speaking to me as if it's easy. I don't think she's ready to move out yet. She can't even look after herself here. Financially, you know, some weeks she hasn't even got money for milk for Jacob. I sometimes go to bed and I cry on the phone to mum at night because I want to come home. To God. <laughs> if you're just doing it to get away from everybody and everything, just so you can do what you want to do, is you don't think of the financial side. I had nothing. I got a bit upset because she doesn't understand how hard it is at such a young age. I personally think she'll struggle because she relies on everybody. If I was an older man, they wouldn't stick their nose in as much. I feel as though they'll just leave us to what we're doing. In Plymouth, Amy thinks her relationship with Patrice is still a secret. I've seen the two of them together and kissing and stuff, then, yeah, they are back together. And obviously no one's happy, but it's her life. But trust is still an issue. This is what I mean, you believe that... Well, you probably f did. Oh, what do you mean a soap bar? I'm not handling it. You probably believe some f right? And you probably believe your boyfriend. That's what I mean about you. You always believe them. Just wait a minute. What, are so you just going to leave me? Huh? They'll never be good for each other. You know, it's such a volatile relationship that they've got. It's not fair on Jacob. If they're both honest with each other, they shouldn't be together. But they may not be together much longer. Patrice is awaiting trial in court, and if found guilty, could be sent to prison. Patrice has been in trouble in the past, and... He has got a court case, and there is a chance that he's going to get sent to prison. Uh, do you know what? I can get sent down for this? Yeah. I'm just letting you know. You'll be all right. If I, if I get two years, I'll do half of that in good behaviour. I'll get 12 months, and that's a year. That's not seeing Jacob for a year, or you. How do you feel about that? Bad. I just, I don't want to go down, Amy. I really don't. That's the worst thing that happened in my life, man. I'd wait for you. Would you? Okay. That's sweet. Just don't pick up the soap.
It's Jacob's first birthday and Patrice is allowed in the house for the day. There's no sign of him yet. So we've got sort of a bet on whether or not he turns up. If Patrice don't turn up then I know he ain't bothered about the sun. You know, cos he's got nothing else to do today, so... <laughs> the treat is over an hour late. over and Patrick never turned up. I've never felt this angry before in my life with him. No more chances anymore. Now I just know they don't care about him. I was like planning to like find somewhere else to live and everything else for him and it's just everything I do for him he just throws it back in my face and I just can't do it anymore. I'm gonna wait until I move out and sort myself out first. It's been four weeks since Jacob's party and Amy's relationship is back on. But Patrice is in prison. After breaching his bail conditions, he must await his trial in custody. And there could be another problem. What's that? Like, I've been really worried because I haven't had a proper period in two months. But I would admit that... Me and Patrice have slept together a lot without using anything. If I was pregnant, I'd poo myself. <laughs> because my mum would not want me here. Amy is breaking the news to her mum and sister Tia. Are you an idiot? You are so stupid, Amy. Can I go get tests? Mistakes happen, right? It's a mistake. Well, not really. I wouldn't mind having a little baby. You don't even know how to spell some words. You need to go back to school. I think if Amy did have another baby, it would be a huge disaster. Mm -hmm. Don't know whether it's just like a, a toy to her. You know, the fun of having a baby. I really, I really don't understand her. Amy is taking a pregnancy test. I wouldn't say I'm trying. It's like if I fall pregnant, I fall pregnant. If I don't, I don't. It don't bother me anyway. If I was pregnant, I'm going to kill her. You've done it? Yeah, I just put them in the ledge. Where is it? You wanting another baby to keep hold of the treat? No. But I'll kill him if she is. I swear to God. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> Are you happy? Not really. Yeah, right. I think Amy just hasn't got her head screwed on. She would never, ever cope with two babies. Never. Right, I have a letter off Patrice. Oh! It's good because he said baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> To my baby girl, hope you're okay, honey. How's JJ? I'm okay, I guess. I just don't know what to say. I'm so lost in here and want to be with you, babe. Can you marry me with a smiley face? You and me and JJ, I want you for life, babe. And then, like, loads of kisses. Oh, I've got to cry. <laughs> but if found guilty, Patrick could be in prison for up to two years. If Patrick does get sent down to prison properly, I'll still stay with him. I'll wait till he gets out, even if it's two years. It would have a huge impact on the relationship because Amy's not one for waiting around. She gets very bored. To be honest, I really do not give a poo anymore. 
what his family says or what my family says. I've just had enough of it now. I'll do what I want to do. You know, I want to get married to him. You know, I want to have more kids with him. I want him to stay with me till I die.